So I had an absolutely massive feed last night. I managed to gain four kg. I weighed myself in the morning, I was 99. And at the end of the day, just because I was curious, I weighed 103. So I only had that one meal, but it was loads of steak, probably over a kilogram of steak, lots of pineapple and stuff like that. So today I'm back down to 101. Uh, so I'm still looking a little bit soft, a little bit flabby. Uh, I probably want to get down to about, I would say 96 kg. If I could lose, yeah, like five kg of fat, four kg of fat um, and no muscle, that would definitely be best shape of my life, I would say. Uh, I don't know how realistic that's going to be, but we're going to give it a go. Anyway, it's a beautiful day in Bali once again great day for chest and shoulders you good all right so set one 80 kg see how this goes down Oh, Ooh, not a bad first set. Okay, so set two, I'm doing 70 kg. I, whenever I was training chest, I always, I always start off with an incline press just because I want to prioritize my upper chest. Ah, oh. oh, that was a good set. So I'm expecting to have a good session today because I, I ate so much food yesterday. Just my muscles are feeling a lot fuller. It's surprising the difference of just like what one meal can make to your physique. But uh, yeah, just one more set on here. Okay, set three, just 60 kg now. So, chest press. Man, this machine feels good. It's like a slight decline in press, but you kind of get a good squeeze at the bottom. I started training at this gym only like a week ago. And typically what I do when I go to a gym for the first time is I find the machines that I like and I just stick to them. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of this machine because it just feels good. So set two. Mm. 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 
Good set. Okay, so set three. I've just taken 10 kg off each side for this final set. And I'm gonna go for more, more reps, higher reps for this set. chest is pumped wow okay so i'm gonna do dumbbell flies the bench is on a slight incline that's how i just prefer to do it i don't often do dumbbell flies i prefer to do cables or pec deck but neither of them are free so dumbbell flies it is Oof. i'm really feeling the squeeze of the mother mm. That's good so with flies you definitely don't need to go heavy that's just 15 kg on each side but if, if you perform the exercise properly you don't need to do heavy weights at all okay set two so i'm keeping a slight bend in my elbow at all times when i'm coming down i'm really feeling the stretch here and squeeze it back up and when i'm coming up i'm really focused on squeezing my chest rather than just bringing the weight up <sighs> shoulder blades back at all times <clears throat> Okay, set three. I've just dropped the weight down to 12.5s just for this last set to make sure I can get more reps. Should do dumbbell flies more often that feels pretty good oh my chest is sufficiently pumped that's three exercises for chest now i'm probably just going to do one exercise for shoulders i don't often i don't train my shoulders much because i want a bigger chest and arms in comparison to my shoulders 
I feel like if your shoulders are too big, it makes your physique look just unbalanced. And I feel like for me, my chest and my arms need more weight than my shoulders. So I'm just gonna do one exercise for shoulders. Lateral raises, it's my go-to shoulder exercise. You can't go wrong with lateral raises. Oh, it's good. Okay, so going inside for set two because the light's too strong for the camera. But now I'm doing 12.5, so I just did 15 kg. Set two, I'm going to do 12 and a half. All right, set three. Ah, cool. That's the session done for today. So that's what? Four exercises. Um, less than 40 minute workout. Hey, guys, you do not need to be in the gym for very long. Literally 30 to 45 minutes maximum. I mean, an hour maximum if you need to, but I find I have the best sessions when I do four or five exercises. I feel like that's the sweet spot for me. And typically, if it ever goes over an hour, I just lose concentration. I just feel like I don't get as good a feeling afterwards. But uh, you know, getting up in the morning first thing and crushing a workout, there's no better way to start the day. You know you're hungry when you're watching your steak cook in the air fryer. Come on, nearly there now. Well, this is my attempt at cooking a steak in the air fryer. I have never seen a steak still look red on the outside before, so I'm not sure how this is gonna be, but it's not looking too tasty. Oh dear. Okay, taste test. It actually looks quite good. It's just I'm not used to steak looking like a little bit soggy. It's really good actually, really good. I'd say I'd probably still prefer it on a barbecue or pan fried, but it's nice. It's nice even like consistency cooked all the way through yeah i like it from frozen as well Fingers. no this one kinder bueno oh it smells like peanut butter and this one what's this one um apple crumble apple fish? crumble apple crumble cream of rice stick a spoon in there which one any <laughs> oh guys look at this I need a proper spoon, that's too bendy. So I've been eating these pretty much every night at the moment. Oh, look at this. 
So good.